Um, let's see. What do I press? Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Derping around. So, I'm gonna change to this one. And, uh, so the new enemies that we're gonna meet are called the Juavo. And, uh, they're a little bit different from zombies. They're more aggressive. And they're sort of similar to the, uh, enemies from Resident Evil 5, which were, uh, the Magini, I think? I don't remember what they were called. But, um, the first Serpent Emblem is also in this room with these pigs. It's pretty hard to miss. Let me see if I can just melee at them. Use the, uh, the knife. The knife that I never use otherwise. <laughs> so that's the first of four. And we also got a red and a green herb, so we can already get some health, which is good. But, as I was saying, the... Juavo are a little bit more aggressive than the regular zombies, and they mutate and We're HQ. We're currently engaged with the such, so... The it's not looking good. Requesting immediate backup! It will be a new HQ challenge for us. Assist Bravo with the Four of Hearts. So we're sort of on like a rescue mission or something. We're killing unarmed civilians. They're gonna really love us. Healing itself. So this is our first Juavo enemy, and uh, they are infected with the C virus, so they are actually able to mutate and change their uh, physical properties and such because of the virus's capabilities. So, they... eventually you will find ones that mutate their limbs, their, their head and such, and become totally new enemies, and that's a really interesting mechanic. It is, as I said, similar to that's not good. Resident Evil 5 and a little bit of Resident Evil 4. So you do kind of have to be careful, you know, if you're trying to get a headshot in, or put an in arms or something, you might actually kind of make them a little bit more dangerous. But it adds the fun, too, so... We're just gonna keep going Alpha along Chief, this way. Proceed along Route Niner. Take a back alley to get to the Ace of Spades. Glad we're getting a lot Still of Still trying to wrap my head around what I'm seeing here. Rusty. It looks like all that training's kicking right in. Can the chatter. You ready? Doesn't look like there's anything here. I thought there was an item here. I guess not. Maybe I'm think of thinking of something else. Kind of annoys me when they do that forced targeting thing, so even though I'm not actually targeting anything, the game just does it for me. So then it kind of catches me off guard. So the Juavo are basically... Chinese citizens who have mutated or, or taken into service to be mutated or whatever, so they, they do... I'm assuming they're speaking Chinese. I don't speak Chinese, so I, I can't, you know, say that that's actually Chinese or the, the veracity of that, but I'm assuming it's probably accurate. It seems like the kind of game that would do research to that effect. A 
some items here. And so basically you'll know that the area is out of enemies or clear of enemies when the team indicates uh, all clear and then you know that everything is safe. So that's kind of helpful that they do that. It's usually pretty easy to tell when Joavo are out and about because they they do sort of make weird like sighing or, or wheezing noises, so you can definitely tell when they're around. Just a helpful indicator. Oh, I thought that was a Joavo, it's appears. <laughs> a bonsai tree or something. You see those are Japanese, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and uh, we'll continue along in Chris's campaign in the next video. Uh, thank you so very much for watching.